Hello there, it's Anne. Today I am going to show you how to use the Creative Minds Journal and 10 creative title themes you can use for journaling. So first off, we're going to start with one of my favorite themes and that is the galaxy. If this is your first time painting the galaxy, I recommend for you to start with a small shape like a circle or a triangle and paint within that. For my galaxy, I like to use watercolor. So I'm using the watercolor palette that comes with this journal. And I usually like to use a half and half ratio of water and paint. So as you can see, I started with the darker paint. And then as I get to the center, creating my Milky Way, I use lighter colors. I love painting the galaxy because this is when you can experiment with mixing different kind of colors together. And the way I blend the color is that I use a little bit of extra water and then I take my brush and I would make little swivel motions so that way the color can blend. I also take a little piece of paper towel and smudge the colors together as well. Now if you get too much paint on the paper, go ahead and dab that off with a little piece of paper towel. If your paper starts to ripple after the paint dries, it's probably because you're using a little bit too much water. Since this is journaling paper and not watercolor, it works differently. So we have to improvise with technique by using paper towel to soak up the water as much as we can. Watercolor tends to dry fairly quick. So after that is all dry up, I then go over with white paint. So I'm using the pro white paint for this just cause it's thicker and it shows on the darker colors. If you can't find that, you can also use a white gel pen to create your stars. To make sure all that work doesn't go to waste, what I usually like to do is go in with a pencil and write out my title word. For this one, it's manifestation. I want to make sure that the spacing is right and that I got the spelling down and all the words are placed nicely before I go in with a marker. This is a fun artwork to do because it's a mix of watercolor and also doodling. So the first thing you want to do is take your brush and just make a bunch of watercolor smudges on your paper. Play around with different colors, whatever colors you like. Here I'm just smudging blue and red. I don't really use this combination often, but I'm just going to experiment with it. And you want to kind of make this into a feathery shape. Just to note, all the artwork title that I'm creating for you here are a lot bigger than what I would normally use in my journal. I would make them a lot smaller so that way I can have more space on my page. But this is just for uh, filming purposes. For this title, Mind Spill, I want it to look minimal just because there's a lot in design for the feathers. So I'm gonna go in with a thin pen and write out the word Mind Spill. This is like my handwriting, except I made it more spaced apart and more lengthy looking. Now it's time for the doodling part. I love this part right here. I'm creating a middle line in the center of the feather. And then from the center, I am creating feathery, wispy motions going out. Between these lines, I am making different patterns. And you could really have fun and be creative with this part right here. Do whatever makes you happy. You can go in with a pencil if you're afraid to mess this up and just uh, play around with different, different patterns. Have fun with this. If you're feeling inspired to travel or if you just love nature and the outdoors, this is a fun theme to create. What I like to do is use the tip of my brush and I would make sure that it's more on the dry side before I dip it into the colors. And this is how I got the effect of the pine tree branches by using the tip of my brush and dabbing it onto the paper. Add in different shades of colors and also create your trees at different heights so that way it can give your painting some depth. I usually like to create this design on the bottom of the page and then above it I would write a word that inspires me or a topic that I want to write about right above the trees. This next art is actually from an improv artwork page in my Creative Minds journal but I did something like this about two years ago for my April spread. The way I create my crystals is that I would go in with some watercolor. I pick a color that I like and then I paint it in different shades. So basically I add in more water to get the lighter shades. And if I use too much water, then I just blot it really quick with some paper towel. 
and I paint it within the kind of shape that I want to use for my crystals. Even if I don't have the outline of crystals here, I would paint it where I want to draw my crystals. So when the color fully dries, I go in and I draw some lines and jagged shapes, some angles to get that crystal shape. So if you notice so far, most of the artwork are related to the titles. So this one is Shine Bright, and this would be something that I would use for like a journal entry on self-improvement or something that I learned a takeaway for the month. Um, so I would probably make my title a little bit smaller. That way I have more space above, more negative space to write in. I hope you're enjoying all these different artwork for the titles. This one is a really fun one to recreate. Very simple and there's so many variations that you can do with banners. So I'm going to create my banner in the center of my Mind Spill page and I want to add some color to this. So I'm making a water splash in the center and then once this color is dry, I create my banner over the top. To create the banner, I am drawing a long rectangular shape almost with a slight curve. Then for the sides, I am giving it a ribbon look. As you can see, I created a little bend on the inner corner bottom. And then to give this a nice pop, I created a shadow underneath my ribbon. If you like stars, then this design is for you. I first started with a sketch so that way I can know where I want to draw my stars. I wanted to create a crescent moon-like effect and so I drew stars in different sizes. In the center the stars are larger and as they come out they get smaller. In between the stars in the negative spaces I add some dots so that way it can add more of a design element into the overall look of this. In the center of this moon, I am going to write the word dream and create because this is for an inspirational spread. And around this, I can write out all my ideas and inspiration. So here's a fun summer theme where the artwork and the title creates the topic. When you have a bunch of lemons, what do you do with it? Create an artwork. So that's what we're going to be doing here. The two pages you see here are actually the mindfulness exercises in the Creative Minds Journal. So therefore the artwork is going to be in the center. And the great thing about watercolor is that you can write over it. So if I do choose to write over this, I can write over it and still enjoy my artwork. So as you can see, I sketch a bunch of lemons in the background. And then for the title part, I took something circular and traced a circle uh, for the title. Then I went ahead and started with the lighter color yellow. And then with the leaves, I started with the lighter color green. After I get in my lighter shades, I then go over with darker shades. Right after everything is painted in, I am now gonna go over with a pen and this is going to make all the difference with this artwork. So I outlined all the lemons and the leaves and now I'm going to add in little dots for the texture of the lemons. This art was actually just an experiment. I just improvised as I went along with this and I really ended up loving how everything turned out and I hope that you are going to love it too. And please give this a try because it is really, really easy to create. So if you're enjoying these artworks so far, make sure to leave an emoji below that represents the artwork that you like in today's video. All right, so the way I am creating this cactus is again, I am doing a little sketch of a cactus shape and you can really have fun with different kind of cactus shape. Uh, dig up some photos online to see what inspires you. And then from there, we use the same painting method with this, adding different shades of green or maybe adding a little blue. For the pot, I mix in some orange, brown, and red. A creative way to add in your topic is to make it part of the artwork. And here I have a sign coming out of the pot. It says, hug life. And this is going to be about life in general, almost like a monthly log. Next, we are going to create a wreath. This one is a bit leafier than I had anticipated, but overall, it's still very pretty. And I love creating wreaths because you can just experiment with a different kind of leaves or flowers, and they're also colorful and fun to create. So again, go over with a pencil, so that way you can play around with different designs, whatever you choose to paint for this. I like to start off with leaves and I recommend for you to start off with leaves if you are new to this because that's easier to draw out and color. After that, for each style leaf, you want to select a color and stick with that throughout your wreath. 
All you have to do is apply the same method of painting just like we did in the other artwork. With reefs, they're so versatile to use for different kind of topics and that's what I love about them because you can just switch it up with different plants and almost any other designs. This last one is super, super, super cute. It is inspired from my improv artwork in my Creative Minds journal. I made one improv page and I love it so much. I want to create another one, but this one is gonna be for the theme title. And um, so I drew out different shaped jars and inside is going to be a terrarium. Again, we're gonna apply the same paint method, sketch, everything like that. You guys should know all that by now. And then above, my topic is going to be about growth. I put grow right here, which is kind of similar, you know, things that I want to work on and develop uh, throughout the year. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video and want to support, give this video a big thumbs up, share it with the rest of the world. And also if you want to get updates on Creative Minds Journal, then go to creativemindsjournal.com and sign up for updates. 